Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Home app. First, you'll have to connect your Google Home device to electricity and after that you will see some lights on the top. You will have to turn it on. Then you will hear a sound after it finishes loading. Then what you should do right now then after that, you'll have to go to the Play Store or App Store on your phone and download the Google Home application on your phone. Then once you download it, you'll have to choose any account that you have or you can simply use another account. Then click on OK. Then here, it will show you this in the home page. You'll have to click on Get Started button just right here. And now it will ask you to set up a device. So here, if you have an existing device, you can simply choose it. Or if you do not have one, you can simply click on New Device. So I'm going to click on New Devices. Then here, it will ask you to choose a home. So let's say that you have an existing home. You will just choose it. Or if you are creating a new one, you can simply click on create another home then after that it will ask you to enter the home nickname so i'm gonna name it my home for example and after that you will have to enter the home address and after that they will ask you to set up your device so if you want to set up the device now click on next and after that it will ask you if you hear the sound or not it will do loading process then after that it will find the device that is in your home and you will hear a sound if you hear it just click on yes if you do not hear it click on try again after that they'll ask you to help improve google home if you want to do that click on yes i'm in and this will provide them with all of your information using the application but if you do not want so you can simply click on no thanks after that it will ask you to agree to the additional legal terms click on i agree then it will ask you where's this device and this is an essential step especially if you are deciding to get another or a second google home device in your house so i'm going to choose here the dining room then click on next and after that it will ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi then here it will ask you to teach your assistant to recognize your voice you can simply tell him anything that you need just in order to recognize your voice and try to be in a quiet place so that he can recognize it then click on I agree and after that you'll have to click on I agree to this one right here so now it will show you the sentences that you are going to say in loud voice just in order to recognize your voice and you can also make Google home device following only your voice commands or other people voice commands that is inside your house after that it will ask you to add the favorite movies or shows so if you want to do that click on next if you do not want to do so click on not now and you can also connect your contacts your mobile contacts if you want to call someone through google home device so to do that click on next and if you want to know all the updates and all the information about the google device app you can simply click on sign up and sign up using your account in order to get all the news on your email and here, as you can see, it will show you this page that everything is almost done. You can now add more things to the home device. You can simply add a payment method, change your caller ID, you can add some devices, your computer, smart TV, your Wi-Fi, etc. Then after that, you can simply click on next. And now you are ready. You can now ask Google anything that you need. You can command Google to search for some things or call one of your friends. And you can also connect other small devices in your house like the air conditioner and try to control it through Google Home device. And that's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.